everyone. My name is Catherine Bliss, and I would like to give you a tour of Maple and help you get started with the software. When you open Maple, you will see the following screen. You have two options here to create a new document or a new worksheet. I highly recommend using a new document. These are much easier to use and result in fewer error messages. When you open a new document, you will be in math mode. So if you go to the top of the screen, you will see there's two buttons here, text and math. When you are in math mode, Maple will perform mathematical computations. If you are trying to type up a homework assignment, you don't wanna be in math mode because you don't wanna do a mathematical computation on your name, for example. So let's erase this. We'll click into text mode and you see if you type your name and hit enter, everything is fine. Once you've typed your name and perhaps a problem number, you can get started doing basic operations in Maple. For this video, I will be showing some of the commonly used features and then in more detailed videos later on, I will show you how to plot functions and, and things like that. Along the left-hand side of the screen, you will see several palettes, and these are expandable by clicking on the toggle. I recommend keeping open the expression palette, and if you are a student in calculus, the calculus palette can also be very helpful. The other symbol that I use quite frequently is common symbols. If there is a palette that you're interested in using and you don't see it on your screen, you can go to the top under the view menu, click on palettes, and then show a particular palette. Right now I've shown all palettes and I keep several of them collapsed.